Hi everyone, this is Arturo Spricasso. Welcome back to another Spricasso show. This is going to be an intermediate level space painting. But before we begin, I'd like to introduce you to some of the tools that I use. You all know the Spricasso tool. I use this a lot. Uh, rings around the planets, trees. Uh, of course, the planet stencils. Three different sizes. Uh, the contour maker. I use this a lot to create contours on the ground, rocks, and of course the spray castle funnel. I use this a lot on trees, branches. This is the bubble maker. This is what I use to create my bubbles. And of course the straight edge. Very important in the world of spray painting. We use it a lot. This is going to be the painting we're going to be creating. As you can tell, it has two space castles, planets, and plant life. All right, let's begin with our poster board. I'm going to spray a little bit of green. And you see that? I'm going to make like a, like a piece of rock sticking out of the ground. You'll see what I mean. Now, orange goes really well with green, especially when you're making uh, outer planet, other lands, terrains. And let's start working on the planets. I'm going to use blue for my first planet. Okay, now to different planets, to different textures, of course. I'm going to make the other one red. Okay, now I'm going to add white on the blue planet, but I'm going to go with the opposite color and I'm going to use black on the red planet. There we go. Now I did mention I was going to use two different techniques to create the texture on these planets. So, this is the very first and most basic texture that you can do in spray painting. Using a magazine sheet, you can remove the the black la layers, you know, only leaving the, the bottom layers, the highlights. Now, on this next planet, I'm going to use the liquify technique. Now, we use this a lot on oceans and rivers, but it also creates a very cool looking texture on the planets. Just like so. See? just folded the piece of magazine in the shape of a U and very gently mix the two paints together now see the different textures completely different planets huh guys alright now this is where I'm gonna place my my planet stencils okay don't forget to add the shadow on your planets uh, here and here alright now what you wanna do so you just want to drop the stencils on top of it. Make sure you get some of the black. Very important. Alright, so we're going to cover this whole thing black. Make sure you spray well enough around the planets so that you don't see the texture of the planet. See, like right there? You want to cover that. Same thing here. Now you're going to completely cover the ground as well. You know, I think I'm going to leave that little streak in the sky. I thought it looks pretty cool like a nebula or something. Okay, you want to cover this whole area. Nice. Alright, now you guys remember how to create stars? Aim in the can at least a good 45 degree angle from the spray from the painting. And then very gently just let the mist come down into it. Just like so. Nice. Now, with the magazine sheet I'm gonna go ahead and begin creating the terrain. Now remember I was gonna tell you I was gonna show you how to create that that rock or that maybe that little mountain sticking out from the ground. Well, that's how you do it. Okay. Look at that texture. And you see how the green and the orange really create some, some pretty amazing highlights? It's eye catchy. And well it's another planet, so who knows? Anyways, let's add some water. Now, using the spray castle edge, the straight edge, we're just gonna right about here. Now, if you have a longer edge, you know, feel free to use it. I, for some reason, couldn't find mine. But anywho, just like so. All right now, we're gonna cover this with blue. Alright, now the straight edge is good so that you don't get any overspray on on the painting. Okay, 
Now this is a very simple technique. You can either use the liquify technique or you can use this, the smearing technique. Both work really well. They both create the effect of water.